Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft Data Pack tutorial. Today's tutorial is an update to my 1.21.4 custom recipes tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. So to get started, we need to make our data pack. So go to single player, find your world, click on edit and open world folder. And here we'll go to data packs and we can right click and make a new folder for our data pack. I will call mine tutorial. Now you can edit this however you want to, but for me, I find it easiest to use Visual Studio Code. So to get started, we need to make a new file in our data pack called pack.mcmeta. This is the file that tells Minecraft that we are trying to make a pack. So in here, we'll put some curly brackets, pack, some more curly brackets. Pack format, the data pack pack format for 1.21.5 is 71, comma. Description, and you need to do some quotation marks, but we can just leave this blank. Hit Control S to save that, and we can close it. Create a new folder in here called data. In data, we need a new folder which will be our namespace. This namespace is important because this is how we reference everything in our data pack. This can't have any spaces or capital letters. I'll just do tutorial again. And here we need a folder called recipe. And in recipe, we can just put our recipes in here, but to keep things clean, I'll create another folder called custom. In custom, we'll create our first recipe. I want to add back the old enchanted golden apple recipe. So I'll call it enchanted underscore golden underscore apple dot json. Now, instead of going through and writing out all of this stuff, we don't want to have to do that. Instead, we'll use a generator. You can find the generator at meso.github.io, and you should just see recipe here, but if you don't, click on all generators, scroll down, and you should see it right here. Click on that. Make sure that this is set to the correct version, and in here, we can set our type. For this, we are going to do crafting shaped. So click on that. We can leave our group as blank. Group is for things like doors, for example, where you have a bunch of different types of door and they're all grouped into one. But we're not going to use that. But we will use this category. I'll show the different categories on screen right now. But the one we want is miscellaneous. We'll add three patterns. These patterns represent the grid up here. So each of these will have three values, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you want an item to be empty, you can replace it with a space. So in all of these, I'm going to put GGG -G -G for gold, I'll put GAG -G for gold apple gold, and GGG. -G -G. So I'll have gold blocks all around and an apple in the middle. So how do we get these showing up? For that, we need our key. So to start, I'll do my A key, add that, and I'll set this to an apple, just like that. And you can see our apple appears up here. And if I add another key for G, we can put in gold block, and you should see that appear here. Now you might have noticed that some recipes will have items be interchangeable. Maybe you could also use like a golden apple. To do that, you would add another one under this apple and set this to a golden apple. And you can see it alternates between an apple and a golden apple. But we don't want that, we just want our apple. And finally, the result. I will set mine to an enchanted golden apple. And you should see that appear on the output. You can set a count, and you can even add components. This top one is for components you want, and this bottom one is for components you don't want. So, for example, you could scroll down and find item name, and in here you can put some quotation marks and give it a custom name, and you'll see that appear up here. But I don't want this, so I'll just remove all my components. Now that you're done with that, come down here and hit this copy button. 
And back in Visual Studio Code, you can hit Control V to paste this entire thing in here, and Control S to save. And if you go back into Minecraft, we can cancel out of here, start our world. Now if I go into my crafting table, I can put in these gold blocks and my apple, and we get an enchanted golden apple. And if you go to the miscellaneous tab, you can see your recipe here. But let's experiment with a few more different types. So I will add a new file and call it spawner.json. I want to make a mob spawner recipe. So to do this, back in our recipe generator, we will click these three dots and hit reset to default. And this time we will set our type to crafting shapeless. This basically just means that we don't have to deal with putting the grid in order, but group and category is the same. So you can set category to whatever you want here. I'm gonna do miscellaneous again. I'll add ingredients. And for this one, I do want multiple choices. So for this, I want six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll put in the mob heads. So we have two skulls, we have the skeleton skull and the wither skeleton skull, and then we have the heads. We have creeper head, we have the dragon head, we have the piglin head, and we have the zombie head. And you can see it switching through them up here. And now I don't just want that. So I'll add one more entry, and this is going to be a creaking heart. Just like that. And I'll add our result, which is going to be a spawner. Just like that. And you can see our spawner up here. So if we hit copy and paste this up into spawner, hit control S to save. In Minecraft, if we do slash reload, we can get out a head, it doesn't matter which one, I'll do a creeper head, and a creaking heart. Put these in any order, because we did crafting shapeless, so I could put the creeper head here and the creaking heart here, and it still works. There is our spawner. And finally, what if we don't want to use a crafting table at all? Well, we can come up to the three dots again and reset, and under type scroll down and find stone cutting. And obviously we're going to make a stone cutter recipe. So I'll add our ingredient, I'll add a list here, and this is going to be stone, just like that. And I'll add our result. I want to make a stone button, just like that. And you can see our button over here. Super simple recipe. Go ahead and copy that, and in Visual Studio Code, we will make a new recipe, I'll call it stone underscore button dot json, and in here I can paste that in, hit control s to save, and in Minecraft, again, reload, pull out your stone and a stone cutter, we can put our stone cutter down, and if we put our stone in, you can see our button as an option. So I hope this helped you. If you have any trouble at all, you can message me in the comments or join my Discord server with the link in the description where we have a help channel where you can leave anything you need help with. Everyone in the server is super nice and I'm sure you'll have a good time. But with that, thank you for watching. See ya!